you want to transfer money in this high-tech era, hundreds of banks and credit unions offer a service called Zelle. It's a peer-to-peer -peer payment transfer system, and you might not know it, but it's likely already connected to your online bank account. And it's supposed to make your life easier. But does Zelle make it easier for crooks to steal your money? And is it your bank's responsibility to get your money back if the crooks, crooks do get away with it? Our consumer investigator, Shannon Bankin, has been working for months now uncovering this type of fraud, and she is continuing to push federal lawmakers to do more to protect your money. Stacy Keith, if a crook steals your credit card number and leaves you with unauthorized charges, you are protected and under federal law, you get your money back. So why is that not the case when the crook uses Zelle? Scott Schaefer says he caught the crook in the act. He saw a pending transfer, somebody stealing his money through Zelle. I'm looking at my account and all of a sudden money is being transferred to someone I have no idea who they are. He recalls his frustration when he alerted his bank, Chase. Two hours later, after drop calls, uh, folks giving scripted questions, scripted answers, and so forth, they say, well, they'll look into it. And that's it. And you head into the weekend, you've lost almost $5,000. The crooks didn't stop there, even after Scott moved his money to a second Chase account that he thought was safe. So you asked the bank to not put Zelle on the second account. Correct. And it was put on anyway, and your money was taken. That is correct. Combined, Scott lost nearly $9,000. This story is playing out all over the Tampa Bay area and across the country. Crooks either hack into consumers' devices or trick them into unknowingly sending them money through Zelle. Once the money is gone, it's nearly impossible to get it back. Scott says Chase denied his claim and told him his transactions appear to come from his computer. He disputes that, saying he did not initiate the transfer. Why do you put money in a bank to keep it safe? That's the one job they have. Keep your money safe. They didn't do it. For the first time, federal lawmakers are demanding answers from Zelle and questioning why Zelle's parent company, a group owned by seven large banks, including Chase, aren't doing more to protect consumers. Two senators recently wrote to Zelle's CEO saying, quote, your company and the banks have a clear responsibility to more aggressively protect consumers. That's a start. But I took this to Congressman Gus Bilirakis, ranking member of the Consumer Protection and Commerce Subcommittee. If you lose money and a scammer hacks into your credit card, you're protected, but not Zelle. Should that change? I think there should be more protections. There's no question. But we need more teeth into the law because these scammers, they find a way. Meanwhile, Scott tells me he's working with an investigator at the Pinellas Park Police Department to get to the bottom of what happened to his money. If I let that go, that's basically saying, well, yeah, you know, I'm responsible for this, and I'm not. I reached out to Zelle's parent company, Early Warning Services, and I have not heard back. I reached out to Chase Bank and heard back this afternoon, and they are standing by the denial, saying that the transactions are consistent with how he used his accounts in the past. In the meantime, Congressman Gus Bilirakis' office is also working to get answers for Scott, and they're trying to push for the legislative change that he discussed in the story. Well, the, well, kudos to this guy, Scott, for just not giving up and not letting it go. I mean, it's a lot of yeah. money, but he's pushing back, and he has to. Mm -hmm. People I have to do that. What can we do to protect ourselves, though? Well, it's a very difficult situation here. There's two main types of ways that crooks do this, either a hack or by tricking you into paying them through Zelle. When it comes to tricks, you need to be very careful that you do not use Zelle unless you know who you are paying. When it comes to the hack, though, there may be very little you can do, and that's why these consumer protections are needed. That's frightening to think about, you know, all that digital transferring of money is yeah. frightening. All right, thank you. Good information. If you have a problem that needs solve and you better call Bank and there's the telephone number 1855 Bank and or you can reach her on Facebook at WFLA Shannon.